At this moment, we are sitting at 61 degrees, sunny skies, humidity at 41 percent. Winds out of the north northeast at 15 miles per hour. It's been a beautiful day, but a bit of a cool one. But that humidity really being reflected in that dew point, 37 degrees. It is bone dry outside. Temperatures maintaining themselves in those 60s at this moment. 65 in Crystal Falls, 65 in Menominee, 60 in Houghton. So some areas actually improving compared to yesterday. If you remember, some areas were stuck in those 50s. Now towards the east, 63 degrees in Munising, 64 in Escanaba, just 60s all around across the map and across the board. Now those winds still coming out of a northwesterly direction. So in some areas, making it feel more like into those 50s, 14 miles per hour in Iron Mountain, 9 in Escanaba, 16 in Marquette. But winds continue to relax as we now enter the evening hours, and that's going to allow for that radiational cooling to take place as all the heat from the afternoon escapes back into space. And because of that, there is a chance that we're going to have one more cold night, and also we're going to be dealing with some of that patchy frost throughout the interior of the UP. Good news, though, as we enter Friday and more so into Saturday, warming temperatures both in the daytime but more noticeably during the nighttime. We'll break out of those 30s, get back into the 40s, and eventually by next week, we'll get back into those 50s. Now, in return, though, towards Sunday into Monday, we could be dealing with a couple of scattered showers. So for this morning, though, we woke up with a good amount of 40s along the shore, but towards the interior in that darker shade of blue, those are 30s, 40 in Iron Mountain, Escanaba, and Manistique, 45 in Marquette, 39 in Houghton, and once again, the National Weather Service has posted frost advisories starting at 2 a.m. tonight all the way till 9 a.m. Friday morning. And you can see it's noticeably widespread compared to yesterday, now extending all the way towards the west and as far east as School Graff County. Make sure to protect that sensitive vegetation or put it inside. So most fronts, what determines their strength is how big is that temperature contrast. So the bigger the differences in those temperatures, before and after the front is what makes it that quite of a punch. So keep that in mind. And also some of these stronger fronts as well, they also do pack um, a good amount of precipitation on some of them. And so that's also a key player as well. Now spotty showers has been the name of the game for parts of the Eastern Great Lakes for today, but relatively cool like day for us here in the UP. By tomorrow, it's just gonna be beautiful all around as bubble of no trouble just sits where we are. Thunderstorms already starting to enter into parts of the northern plains. For us though, our weather begins to slowly begin to crumble more so late Saturday night into Sunday. That's when we're gonna have our best chance of rain. And then by Monday, we could still have a couple lingering showers. But for tonight, just make sure to protect those vegetation from that frost, especially inland, 46 degrees, winds out of the north at less than five miles per hour. For tomorrow, we're gonna keep those temperatures a bit warmer than today. Some areas are already breaking out into those 70s, 71 degrees in Iron Mountain, 67 in Houghton. It's just going to be a beautiful one. Go outside and make sure to have that sunscreen with you. But like I mentioned before, a chance of rain arriving on Sunday and even holding off into Monday.